Hey YouTube, got an air conditioner problem on my Baja. I've got a leak in the uh, high pressure hose. This is what you're going to need to get the job done. Get a uh, vacuum pump from Harbor Freight, an AC uh, gauge set from Harbor Freight, and a 12 millimeter socket wrench. Alright, I just checked the price on this pump and it's uh, $99 on sale. So if you have the $99 sale and you use a 20 5% off coupon. Uh, they do come out every once in a while. You can get it for 75 If not, with the 20% uh, off coupon, they're 80 bucks. So uh, that's the cost now on these. These gauges here are on sale pretty regular for $48.99. And then uh, use 20% or 25% off coupon, you'll be able to get them cheaper too. Okay, as you can see down here, here's a hose that I'm going to be replacing. You can see all along here where the oil has gotten off. So the hose just has a hole in it, so basically I'm just going to remove it and replace it, backing the system out, and uh, charge it back up, and hopefully it'll work. Here we go now. Uh, first thing, they wanted $160 for the hose at the Subaru dealer, so I searched online and got it from a Subaru parts dealer that sells online for $120 delivered taxes and everything, so I say $40 right there. So we need to make sure that this hose is going to uh, be the same. So kind of hold it over there and yeah it's it's the right hose so let's go ahead and uh, remove the hose since this uh, has a leak in it it's the I've checked the air I mean I checked the pressure in the lines and it's completely empty so I'm not gonna have to worry about releasing any freon into the ozone or anything so let's loosen the cables the boat, put it so I don't lose it, down here, it's pretty simple, it's two uh, 12 millimeter bolts, the uh, new hose comes with new o-rings, so all I'm going to have to do is just uh, place the hose on and tighten the bolts back up. This is going to cost me, it was going to cost me over $500 if a dealer did it. So with the cost of all the tools and everything, I'm still going to be in cheaper, and then I'll have the tools if I need to do it again. Keep the bolts in separate places. You can see, it's got all that stop leak and everything in it. So, the old hose. I'm hoping that uh, the old hose. And now let's put the new hose on. Pay attention in here. Okay. Side in. Get this side in. Okay, now all I gotta do is put the bolts in. Make sure you don't cross thread it, so make sure you can turn it in real easy by hand. Yes, you can. So let's get this bolt started. Find a hole. There it is. Okay, now let's tighten the nuts up. You don't want to tighten them too tight because the L-ring should lock it up. So just make it good and snug. It's not cross-threaded or anything. There, it's good and snug. So let me get down here. Okay, 
bunk good and snug. Okay, the hose is replaced. Put the covers on the old hose. Has no value, but I'll go ahead and put it back in the bag. Okay, next thing to do is to connect up your uh, vacuum gauge. So uh, I'm gonna get the gauge out and hook it up. Be right back. All right, now let's connect the gauges up. So you, the red goes to the high side, which this is marked H. It's where the high side is. Put these tops down on the on the deal. Vacuum on for about 30 minutes. I'm gonna let it be a little bit longer. I don't know why it's not focusing, but anyway, there's the gauges there at zero now. So we're gonna hook up the uh, vacuum. All right, it's on. I'm gonna get a picture of the gauges. I can't tell if the other camera's got them in focus. It is slowly sucking it down. It's 5 o'clock. I'm going to let it uh, go till about 5.30 and come back out here. And hopefully it'll be down on the peg. But it's not right now, but it's going down. So, uh... Anyway, there you go. We'll be back at 5.30. As you can see, it's sucking out some moisture in there. If, uh... If the air conditioner works and there's no leaks in it, I may uh, change out the, the dryer next time. And if, if that's the case, I'll have to get it uh, evacuated at a dealership or something because I don't have the tools to uh, take it out. But you can tell it's taking out some of the liquid in the system. Just a look at the gauges. Sucking it down. It's still running, it's uh, 5.45, gauges still hadn't moved hardly, so uh, right on the line, right on the line, so we're going to shut the gauges off, make sure they're off, I don't know why it's not focusing. Then we'll cut the pump off. And hopefully the gauges will stay like that. We'll see at uh, 615. We'll be back. Okay. See, it is 615, so let's look at the gauges. They look pretty good. I don't I think the vacuum's held. So now we can start filling it up with Freon. Okay, we've uh, checked it, the gauges and the vacuums, it's holding steady, it's uh, about uh, 625, so I'm going to disconnect the uh, vacuum pump and uh, put a can on it, so set that down, make sure all the hoses are out of the way, we'll uh, Like I said, uh, two cans is going to be 24 uh, ounces as a single take 25. So we'll make sure that 
you kind of keep an eye on the gauges. Just connect one can up to it. And I'm going to start the car, turn on the air conditioner on the low.
like a high side view above 250 just straight up. But this thing can take a whole uh, 24 ounces, so it should take both of them. Already feels like this can's already emptied out. It's already cooling off in there. Let's go in and see what the temperature looks like inside the car. Okay, there's a gauge showing a little bit over 50 degrees, which is good. The, the temperature inside there is 31, 30. So I believe we're fixed. Thanks, YouTube. And uh, if you have problems, I hope you uh, are as lucky as I am. Fix your AC.